Hi friends, now it's time for our next parable about being lost. Do you remember what parable means? Right, it's a story that Jesus gave to help understand a bigger story. So we haven't gotten to that bigger story all the way yet. There's still two more little stories. So this one is found in Luke chapter 15. Now we're on verse 8. Okay, and again, Jesus is talking to tax collectors and to sinners. And remember, there are people who make mistakes. <gasps> Do you ever make a mistake? Yeah. Miss Andrea makes mistakes too, right? But should we just be like, oh, well, let's just keep making mistakes. It's all right. No big deal. <laughs> no. Should we say, oh, I I, I have to stop doing that. That's a bad habit I'm doing right now. Yeah, right. So let's keep listening. So this is Jesus saying, or suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Doesn't she light a lamp, sweep the house and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me. I have found my lost coin. So Jesus is, in the first story, he was talking about a missing sheep out of a hundred. There was a hundred sheep and one went missing, right? The one was missing. This time Jesus is talking about ten. I don't have ten fingers. I need the other one. <laughs> That's, that didn't work. Ignore that part. 10 coins and now one is missing so 10 take away one leaves nine so jesus is saying again he's saying should they should they say oh well no big deal or oh i've got to find it now you have to remember we're so lucky that we have lights in our house and electricity did jesus have lights and electricity so what do you think they needed to use to find a missing, in this case, a coin, a missing coin in Jesus's time? A flashlight? No, they didn't have that either. They had to use a candle, right? We don't play with candles. I know. But back then you needed to use a candle. So you had to be very, very careful. Look at my long hair. If I wasn't careful, I could, I could burn my hair trying to find something if I'm not careful, if I'm being with a candle. So yeah, so it was dangerous. So even though this story doesn't sound like that big of a deal to be missing a coin, it was a big deal back then, and it would have been difficult back then. So this was, again, this is Jesus's way of helping the, the tax collectors and the sinners to understand that it was okay for them to make mistakes. It was okay if they weren't perfect, because nobody was perfect. Right, Jesus was perfect, and God is perfect, but we're not. Miss Andrea is not. Morrison's not. My rainbows aren't. Mommy and Daddy aren't right? We all make mistakes and that's okay. But when we make those mistakes, we have to say, this is not a good habit. I'm sorry. We can't keep doing things on purpose, right? So Jesus is saying that in, in this story, she, the, the woman who finds her missing coins is also going to have a party because she found her missing coin. And Jesus says, in the same way, I tell you, there is rejoicing in the presence of angels of God over one sinner who repents. So we're all sinners, but to repent means to say that you recognize what you're, whatever it is, is whatever it is that you're doing is wrong. And that's what Jesus was trying to tell them in the first story and the second story. All right, there's one more left. Okay.